Hi guys and welcome back to another lesson on angles with Misha. Hope you enjoyed the, your lesson yesterday on angles and you know you learnt something from the session. So for today's session what you're going to need is a pencil, paper and your worksheets from the website. So today you're going to be able to identify acute, obtuse angles and compare and order angles up to two right angles by size. So the learning intention is the same as yesterday but the activity and the main te direct teaching is you know, different. Okay, so for your starter what I want you to do is pause the video for around a few minutes and I want you to define what an obtuse, acute and a right angle is in your own words. We're meant to use the keywords that we used yesterday in the session. Okay, so before we move on, all about angles. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Acute angles measure less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angles measure more than 90 degrees. These are the three key things that you need to remember for today's session in order for you to be able to then order and compare angles. Okay, so let's have a look at these angles. What I want you to do is because you guys know what acute, obtuse and a right angle is, what we need to do is order these angles from the largest to the smallest. Okay, and ordering angles, you know, is quite straightforward sometimes because, you know, you can tell from, you know, the way it's been split in the middle or how wide it stretches and, you know, how tight it becomes. So pause the video for a few minutes and I want you to try this. So here it goes, here is the order of all the angles from largest on the left hand side and the smallest on the right hand side. Use the greater than and less than symbol to compare these angles. So pause the video for a few minutes and I will need to use a greater than and less than sign to compare each, each of these two angles together. So here are the answers. Okay, which I want you to pause the video and work out which angle is the odd one is in the following for angles and why you think that is the odd angle. So remember everything needs an explanation and for you to always use the keywords. That is the odd one out. Why do you think? Okay, so let's have a look at all these angles in this shape. Which is the largest angle in this shape and why do you think that is? So remember to ignore the sizes of the curves inside the shape because that's to trick you. So just because the curve in the top right hand corner is bigger than the curve the left right hand left corner of the shape it doesn't mean that sh that 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 angle is bigger okay so pause the video and have a go at this what makes it harder to tell i can draw two obtuse angles which would equal a straight line 180 degrees is she correct and how do you know? So I want you to pause the video for a few minutes and work out whether she's correct or incorrect. Because the smallest obtuse angle is 91 and two of them added together would be larger than 180 degrees. Okay. So guys, your task is on the website, challenge one or challenge two, whichever one you feel, feel you are able to complete or comfortable completing. What I want you to do is to think about, you know, the definitions, the definitions of the three types of angles in order to help you when you are ordering your angles or reasoning your answers. Remember to also use the keywords and key vocabulary when you're reasoning in your answers to to further deepen your understanding and explain better 
you know, why an obtuse angle is called an obtuse angle an acute angle is called an acute angle. So this lesson is quite straightforward. Um, so good luck with it. And yes, I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. Bye guys, good luck and enjoy.